Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a March wrap up. I didn't even do a thing, a mid-March wrap up because honestly I didn't read for almost three weeks, which is not like me. I got in the biggest reading slump. And then the whole coronavirus, and I was just overwhelmed with the news and the media and people buying out the toilet paper, <laughs> and I was just so overwhelmed that I stopped reading and I got really bad with school for a week because I was on spring break when it all started. And, uh, when I came back and I heard everything, like, it finally, you know, hit me. It was just so emotional. And I'm really, you know, I just took it really hard and I didn't read. So I didn't do a mid-month wrap-up because there was not much to wrap up, honestly. So, some of these books I don't have in my possession right now because I'm mid-move. So, some of my books are already at my new place. Some are still here. I'm just going to do the best that I can. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to me. And, uh, yeah, let's just get in before I just start bawling. I didn't think that I would cry over it but it's just I'm so far away from family and it gives me so much anxiety and it just I just cry <laughs> I just get very emotional and then it's just like me and my husband out here and I love my husband but you know I just worry about the world in general my family and even his side of the family and it's just scary right now so yeah I did not mean for this to be such a big intro but this is gonna be my March wrap up so the first book that I read this month was Old Yeller I finally jumped on that bandwagon and although I did have a physical copy I'm going to try and upload it right here. I don't know how well it's going to work because I honestly don't know how to do that yet. But <laughs> if I get it, it'll work right here for all the uh, books that I don't have with me. So, but I finally read Old Yeller. I actually was not getting into it on the physical form. So I ended up listening to most of it in audiobook. I gave it four stars. It was very sad, especially the end, but I already knew the end was coming, you know. So, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, although most people have already read Old Yeller. But, it's very sad. Just expect your heart to be broken, like mine was. Then, I believe I actually do have this book. This one I read in two days so it is confessions of a high school disaster freshman year so this follows chloe snow who's a freshman in high school whose life is kind of bizarre right now her mom moved to mexico even though she says it's only temporary and then when her mom is in town her parents fight all the time She's in love with this senior quarterback, all-star, who has, like, the most perfect girlfriend who she can't, like, even compete with, even if she wanted to. And, you know, it's just teenage problems. But it was so good. I gave it five stars. And I want to continue with the series. If you're a follower or a subscriber then you know I don't like series so it's very interesting that I actually want to continue on. 
That never happens. Oh, and I think my favorite part of all time is that it's like diary form. Oh, I love that kind of format. I don't know why, but it's just amazing. Then, okay, I don't have this book with me either. So, like I said, if I can figure out how to do it, it'll be right here. I don't think I will be able to figure it out, but we'll see. Um, but the next one was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roland Dahl. Because March was middle grade March, and I tried to participate. I read Old Yeller and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and a few other ones that you'll see in a second. So... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is, like, this big, huge book and movie. I'm sure you've at least seen the movie if you haven't read the book. But I, by far, recommend the book over the movie. I thought that there would be no competition, that the movie would be so much better. Because I love the movie. But the book just was, like, skyrocketing. It was amazing. And I loved every single part of it. And then the next book that I read is not on my list, but, oh wait, no, I read that in February. I read Matilda in February. I'm just kidding. I forgot. So, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then, I'm pretty pretty sure that I finished Hatchet. Okay. I did. So, that was all that I read before my vacation. And then I stopped reading. I read one and a half books on vacation. I finished Hatchet by, oh my gosh, I can't remember who Hatchet is by. I'm going to feel so dumb later. Actually, let's see. I I can't believe I forgot. Who wrote Hatchet? Gary Paulson wrote Hatchet. Gary Paulson wrote Hatchet. I knew that too. But it's about Brian being stranded on an island. Survival. Amazing. One of my all-time favorite middle grade reads. Love it. Then, when I initially got back from vacation, so I finished Hatchet on the road, kind of, while my husband was sleeping, you know, when I couldn't sleep. And then I read, like, half of two other books. So I counted it as like one and a half is probably closer to only one book. But on the 6th of March, I finished Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I did not read anything until the 16th. I mean, I read a few pages on the road, but I'm not really counting that. And then the 16th, I had a 24-hour readathon where I actually finished three books. So that's pretty cool. The first one was started on the road. It was Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. And this was a five-star prediction for me. And let me tell you what I rated it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I rated it four stars. And uh, it was a very slow burn, very boring story. I did like the camping and I did like the survival. But uh, in general... It was just so slow. I don't like the slow burn kind of books. And that's what this one was. So it was only a four star from me. Then, my all time favorite book of the month. Yeah, I'm going there. All month of March. This was my favorite. Squad by Mariah McCarthy. 
And now, the funny thing is that I didn't have any expectations for this book. I, by the sounds of it, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to like it that much. But this has it all. It's a uh, high school drama. It's uh, falling out with friends. It's uh, <laughs> like not wanting to be around anymore. Like feeling like your friends don't care about you anymore. It's like feeling lost in life. And, you know, I connected to this book on so many levels. It was heartbreaking. It was refreshing. It was amazing. And I definitely recommend Squad by Mariah McCarthy. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It was just amazing. My best book of the month. Heck, Maybe my best book of the year thus far. I loved it. I almost reread it this month just so that I could say that I reread a great book. And then uh, the other book that I read on the 16th was a group read with Amanda and Michael. Hey guys! Thanks for reading this with me. I actually don't think they liked it as much as I did. I loved it. It was like mysterious and oh, I just love the game. So Four Letter Word by Krista Dizzer. And I've been saying her name wrong and I'm so sorry. I apologize. But I absolutely love this book. I gave it five stars. However, I do think Squad is better. So, it's a five star read. It's really good. Mysterious. And it's just about, like, these friends that play a game that turns uh, dark somehow. I guess that's the best way to describe it. All right, and then that was it for my 24-hour readathon, and then after, so that day I read those three books, then the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, so then I went almost another week without reading, but when I did come back reading. I did not read this book. I read the first one, which was Just Peaches by Jodi Lynn Anderson, and I believe that I gave it three stars. I did. I gave it three stars, and it was compared to, like, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Maybe it's just because I grew up reading and watching The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, but I didn't get it. Um, I actually was very disappointed with this book. It was okay. It was cute. I get it. But it was, my expectations were like way up here and, or like, were like way up here and it was kind of like more like here. So I don't know. I'm not going to continue with the series. I'm not going to even read this one. I'm just going to trade it in when uh, the bookstore is open again, which here, I don't know how it is for you guys, but here it's not going to be, my bookstore isn't going to be open till June at the earliest. We'll see how we're doing then, though. And then I read The House Swap. Which I don't have my copy here. It's at my other house because I'm in the middle of moving. And it was like a domestic thriller. And it was, it was a little bit slow, actually. I thought it would be more action-y and more, <sighs> like, scary. 
I'm sorry, that was supposed to be scary. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't, it was, it was interesting in the psychological part, but it wasn't like rah, scary and it was very slow. So I only gave it three stars. And then, so my, I didn't really read much off my March TBR, but I did not read much of my March TBR, unfortunately, because Wyatt Jellybean. Because I just got into such a slump that I'm pretty sure that one, two, three, four, five of these books were on my TBR, but there were like 13 books. So I honestly don't remember which ones were on my TBR and which ones weren't. I know this one was because it was um, my hubby pick. Or, well, not my hubby pick. My husband got to pick a book because I landed on hubby pick in my March TBR. And I almost didn't read it because I tried to read it physically. And it, uh, it was kind of dry, if I'm being honest with you. And I didn't think I was going to read it. But, you know, luckily there are audiobooks. And so, I read The Shack by William P. Young. Now, these are very hard to judge, these books, because it's based on a true story. And the story really broke my heart, okay? But it's a very religious book, which there's nothing wrong with. But it was kind of slow and religious. And I found the book, the movie better than the book. But it's a good book. And it's based on a true story. So I think that I gave it a three stars. Yeah, I did. And the last one that I read, although there still are two more days left in this month, and I might actually finish another book or two, but we'll see. If I do, it'll be in the next TBR, or the next wrap-up, either mid-month or at the end of the month. If I read all my books for the Owls, it'll be mid-month, for sure. But the last one I don't have with me either, you know, because I'm both places. But this one is The Undoing of Thistle Tape by Caitlin DeWiler. And uh, this one took me three weeks to read because of my uh, little slump that I had this month. But it was two stars. And to be fair, I don't know if it was just me because I was in such a slumpy mood that I'm going to rate whatever I read that month as bad or, like, not a favorite or if it really, the writing really was not good. Um, I did like, okay, so Thistle Tate is about this author who writes this lemonade series. I believe that's what's called and uh, she actually has someone else writing it but she takes credit for it that's how they the arrangement is and that's how they like it but then the person that actually writes the series dies and so now she has to finish the series herself but she's not a writer so I loved the Lemonade series, like the actual parts from the Lemonade series that were in there. I love that part, but 
the book itself I did not like. And like I said, it might have just been me, you know, and the mode that I was in. Because, like, emotionally, mm -mm, I was not here, okay? I was completely gone. And uh, I'm getting better, you guys, okay? I'm still really worried about the world. And I'm really worried, especially about my family. But I'm getting there, okay? And, uh, yeah, kind of a weird place to end this video, but thanks for watching. Subscribe. Um, take care and stay safe in this world. Okay? I'll catch you guys in the next one.